Welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about the functional model concept. So what exactly is functional model? So why we are using the functional model? We have the other programs or programs like executable program, include, subroutines, and functional model also like a sub program. So why the sub program in this functional model is required? Today we will see theoretical plus practical. The so first, the functional model, we need to use this functional model, we need to follow two steps. The first step is definition and second would be calling so when you come to the definition and calling so where we do where we define this fm and where we will call simple we are defining this at as 37 and what we defined, what we coded, what we write a code program that we call in SC38. It means an executable program. So first, we will see how to create this functional model. Then I will show you how to call this cfm at 38 yes it's 38 correct let's access the sap and we will uh, use sc37 and we give the name the functional model name z addition we will create a functional model the functional model name is z addition okay so whenever we creating the uh, functional model from the scratch first we need to create the functional group FM group. So then what exactly is this FM group? This functional group is nothing but set of functional model. It means in a functional model, a functional group will have the more than one functional model programs. So we need to create the functional group then only system allow us to create the functional model the first we need to create the functional group the fm we need to create the fm group let's create the fm group we'll close this and we will go to the menu bar there is a go to in a go to there is a functional group then we'll create the functional group not making the confusion i am taking the same the functional model name has a functional model group z addition so i have created the functional group name is z addition so i am doing the short text it's a addition function simply say and here uh, one window is pop up here there is a two important fields are there one is a package which means when we are creating a new code developing the programs those all will be capturing a new package what is the use why we are capturing under the package because 
it will be move from one server to another server and another would will be the local object this is a local object in the real time we are using the once we done any uh, development the code changes any written a new codes all will capturing we are saving another package and the same will be going to use for moving purpose here i am using the local object which means within the server okay functional model group created so creating the functional group it's not enough guys we need to activate it this functional group we need to activate so for activating purpose again we need to go to the menu bar there is a utility uh, no sorry go to the environment there is inactive object i said we need to activate right so we will check which are all the object is inactive so once you are selecting the inactive object the system will be redirect to the app development workbench so i saved this change in a local object so i am expanding this i have not done any code so i have created a functional group so i am expanding the functional group again there is a addition let's cross verify is this mine yes it's a mine so again expanding and right clicking and activating the functional group so now again go back to lc37 so now try to create the functional model so now we will use the same functional group functional group name and short text and i'm simply saving this okay and i'm selecting the continue okay in a beginning a beginning of this class i have said I have given two statement one is within the server another one is one server to another server within the server we can use which are all the program we can use i will show you within the server we can use just i'm doing this okay this also exists These are all the program types. So, which one is the executable program include module pool, subroutine? All this will be used within the server. So, when come to the functional group, functional model, we can use the one server to another server. So, where we'll define those information, I will show you. Wait, it's not saved. No issue. The attributes in attributes tab. Here we have the remote enabled model and normal model. Which means if we enable this functionality, we can access this program one processor or another server. Okay, we are not going to deviate. As of now, we will discuss the normal functional model. In this attribute tab, we will have the information like the, the person who is the responsible, the last change in date, and the package, and whether it is within the server, across the server, the functional group, all this information available. And with the next tab, there is an import tab. In the import tab, we will provide the input parameters. 
and then the next the export in export tab will provide the output parameters and another one is the changing tab so here we will provide the both input as well as output parameter and the next one is table it's for internal table and the next one is the exception to handling the exceptional we are using this tab the final one is source code so here we are writing the program for the input parameter and output parameters let's we will see how to use this input export tabs and source code so third step let's say i'm writing a uh, on program which is p3 is equal to p1 plus p2 this is the much statement so the statement means what will happen here p1 value and say p1 value is 10 and p2 value is 30 so what would be the p3 value 40 it's a simple program just i'm taking the very simple program basic program to explain how to use the f sc38 and if we understand this basic program basic functionality we can write a, any complex code we can write a, any kind of programs fm functional model at function model so let's try this statement how to we implement this statement into the in uh, ac37 so when come to the statement is i clearly mentioned here p3 is equal to p1 plus p2 so i'm taking this p1 plus p2 as a four step and this is i am passing the input parameter so i am entering this value in a import tab statement time so parameter p1 and uh, typing there is a type and the associate type is i sorry i i means integer then the second parameter is p2 p2 the type again i'm doing the integer so now the fifth step we need to define we require the output right we'll provide in the inputs value here so as i explained here 10 plus 30. so the same thing we need to define for the output which is p3 so where we are defining the uh, this output <coughs> i'm sorry in an export tab so in export tab also i am telling to the certain p3 is a parameter name and it's a type and it is a associate type is a integer so then it's completed now in a six step so we need to write the logic we need to tell to the system this is the input and this is the export export tab is nothing but an output tab and this is the logic so where are we writing this logic under this code so as i told is the simplest uh, so just i'm copying this logic i'm pasting here and and i'm taking the first i will save this program saved so now i'm checking the syntax error is there any error oh god okay there is a error which system is telling the statement is not completed we will complete it so now we will check the again syntax error
the field type uh, it does not permit is so field access okay. so now we will see is there any syntax error okay there is no any syntax error so now we will activate this program So program is activated and we'll execute this program and we'll check. Okay. So has here I our testing purpose, we will take the same value. So P1 is a N and P2 is a 30. And what would be our result? system has to give the output result is 40 we'll execute it and see what is it will be okay the result is 40 it's matching it's a two digit so we will give a little bit lengthy number and we will see how it is whether it's giving the current input <coughs> taking the current i'm sorry the being the correct input values and prodding the uh, right output values i'm taking some random values and i'm copying this to my notepad this yes. yes. okay. let's open the calculator i'll see opened okay we will copy the p1 value we will do addition with p2 value plus okay this will be the total hmm. p1 plus p2 it is a p3 okay we will execute we will see if the word system is giving the output is matching or not what is our output okay double one seven one seven one dot it's it's matching yes double one seven one seven one dot eight nine eight so so what we write our code and our program is working fine so this is not a hundred percent completed so uh, you you guys are remember uh, in a functional model i said we will have the two steps the first step is definition and the second is a calling the definition is completed so now the second second part is we need to call here we need to call we need to call in executable program so this we will see in an upcoming class thank you for watching the video have a good day take care bye bye